Hi friends, it's Miss Austin in the STEM lab. Last time we were together, we learned what kinds of items a magnet is attracted to. And remember, a magnet is only attracted to items that are made out of iron, nickel, and cobalt. Today, let's learn a little bit more about magnets. Let's take a closer look at what I've brought. All magnets have two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. On this bar magnet, the red side has an N on it, so this is the north pole of the magnet. The blue side has an S on it, so this is the south pole. The opposite poles of magnets attract each other. If I take this bar magnet and turn it around so that the north pole of this magnet faces the south pole of this one, if I push it, if I push them toward each other when I get close enough, the magnets attract. If I turn both magnets around and I move the south pole of this magnet toward the north pole of this one, they also attract. The same poles of magnets do not attract each other. If I separate these, look, they still want to attract. And I push the north pole of this magnet toward the north pole of the other magnet, the other magnet moves away. It's because the North Pole does not attract to the North Pole of the other magnet. But if I start moving the magnet around to the side, when I get close enough, they attract because the South Pole of this magnet is attracted to the North Pole of that magnet. And it works the other way as well. Let's turn them around and we'll do south pole of this one to the south pole of that one. Look, it also pushes it away. South pole does not attract to south pole. If I move it around to the side, then they do attract because the north pole is attracted to the south pole. So we've learned that the north pole attracts the south pole and the south pole attracts North Pole. Look at that. They keep going together. But the North Pole does not attract the North Pole. And the South Pole does not attract the South Pole. The same poles are not attracted to each other. I told you earlier that all magnets have poles, but not all of them are labeled. So let's find out which pole is north and which pole is south on this horseshoe magnet. So I have the south pole of this bar magnet. And I'm gonna push it toward the one with the dot and you saw that it connected. So this side is attracted to the south pole. So we're probably thinking that this is the north pole. Well, let's see, let's do some other tests. It's very attracted to that. Turn it around to the North Pole, and the North Pole was not attracted, but the magnet turned so that this side was attracted to the North Pole. So that must mean that this side is the South Pole. And if I turn this around and do the South Pole toward South Pole, you can see that it pushed the South Pole away, and then it attracted to the North Pole. All right, what about this magnet? It has two sides, one, and two. Let's see which pole is which. All right, so let's look at the top first. All right, I'm gonna bring this bar magnet and here is the south pole. It attracts. And if I turn it around and bring the north pole to the top, it doesn't attract, it's pushing it away. So that means that this is the north pole. Let's turn the magnet over. So if this was the North Pole on this side, we would guess that this is gonna be the South Pole, right? Let's see. So opposite poles attract, so the North Pole would be attracted to the South Pole. There it is, it attracts. And since the same poles do not attract, if I put the South Pole toward it, it turned it completely over 
Oh, it's stuck to the top again because remember that's the North Pole. So North Pole is top, South Pole is bottom. I hope you enjoyed learning even more about magnets with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.